what's up guys this is the Roferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War let's play as the Kingdom of Mysore and in this episode we are continuing uh, to keep up the pressure against the Dutch by attacking them with overwhelming Mysorean force uh, yeah these two armies are they're in pretty good shape but they, we outnumber them significantly so we're gonna try and use that to our advantage so let's take them out yeah it's definitely my desire to keep attacking the United Provinces, wherever we have that numerical superiority, and importantly, they, they seem to lack uh, the mass behind the line to easily or too easily counter me. Because you've got to think of this as a actual military campaign. We can't just spend all our forces advancing as far as we can get and then leave them leave out leave our lead elements too weakened, so then the Dutch could easily counterattack. We do this carefully. So let's deploy our guns. I'm more inclined. Well, they can't advance it up. So they're going to have to come up from either side of these saw teeth features. I'm going to guess they come this way. And deploy accordingly. But yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, this. We need to do this efficiently. Very efficiently. This one, one might be quite an early outing for the Israeli. One team might stay behind the lines to keep blinking at targets in the distance. So let's take two units of Hindu musketeers just to hold our left flank. Got a unit of Kisobashi on the right flank. Royal Indian Infantry Guards, who are going to be a bit of a reserve. And deploy our melee troops all the way along the line. Keep our light cavalry and the camel nomads together. Actually, this is pretty neat. I keep them together, fire it will off. Sipahi on the left. General in the center. Fire it will off. Yeah, okay. So they're gonna be there more over that way. What's the best way to tackle this? Because we did attack them. Let's be so we got to be honest here, we did attack them. And my gunner, my artillery for some reason doesn't have any sound. Okay, let's deploy some line infantry, plus Sipahi, plus Islamic swordsmen, to see how much damage they can do together. Let's put a Royal Indian Infantry Guards to cover the guns. So I'm trying to see if I can lure these Hussars into the action. Let's keep our guns engaging. Keep them engaging the centre. Keep bombarding them because we have actually do they have any artillery it doesn't look like they do in which case then let's use that to our advantage here's the general back here scots regiment Yeah, I'm hoping I can do a bit of provocation on this flank and see the Sars will go, ha ha ha, charge! But two Hindu Musketeers aren't, they're not a bad, that's not a bad formation, they can probably both take on one unit at a time. But ultimately, if they're going to let us plink at range, we're going to plink at range. So I'm going to speed up time. run 
bit of my aim is to do as much damage as possible. Well, think of this. Th the way to think about it is I'm currently... I want to keep my force alive as long as I possibly can. Right now, this is kind of like a free opportunity to do damage against the Dutch. Ah, there we go. It's the General's bodyguard committing. Advance my Sipahi forward, because that would be quite a good kill. Keep my Islamic swordsmen back here, covering these Hindu musketeers. They appear not to want to counter my charge. Which sounds good to me, because my armoured lancer cavalry can do damage. So this fella... Can't really advance until these marines redeploy, but now they're down to 150 men. That's some some good chipping away. So it looks like it's you. Either you to the rear or you to the front on the right. Well, sadly there. Commander is escaping. Okay, they're redeploying. I mean, if I can let my guns... Well, I only really want to push my Hindu musketeers up to try and do some damage. Unit versus two. Although terrain's actually a bit bad. Might be key to dropping my line back. Thankfully, their reinforcements are coming in from behind them. Well, actually, off to the left flank. my cavalry into the light horse. Let's provoke their infantry to form square. Now they're coming. Now they're coming at us. Yeah, we've provoked their infantry to form square. Keep my cavalry away from their square. Now my men have fire advantage. men are reloading. Keep my heavy cavalry out of the way, then they can attack. Pull back. I'm not so bothered about what's going on in the centre. This is quite an interesting little tactical opportunity here. Bring up the Swiss line. I want my Sipahi to beat the light horse and I want you guys to pour fire into their line. I don't want you to go for their cavalry. Just reload and pour fire. There's a handful of fellows waiting to reload. Infantry may well elect to retreat because they might be 
upset. But let's try just poke the end of the 50th Regiment, then withdraw. Can't forget them forever, because we do have a battle line here to repulse. But they know, they know what's coming. My right flank can advance like so, get my cavalry out towards the flank. Into kind of shot the militia. Guys can't not can't not fight. Okay, there we go. They're going to charge us. Get my Islamic swordsmen into them. Regiment of Grenadier Guards may cause us some issues. We have a cavalry charge up the front. Fire at will, Commander. Engage the Grenadier Guards. You might engage the Grenadiers from the rear. Okay, you are firing. The Marines will be being engaged in due course, which comes to shock. Engage the militia. Ceasefire. Pull my Sapahi back. Engage square formation. The camels in. You guys have to take a bit of a punt. Actually, go wide to the rear, then come back. General's bodyguard come in. Gunners blast the marines. Sikh warriors push on into the enemy. Kizobashi form form up. Fire it will off. Melee troops get behind the line. New men blast the mercenaries. Okay, let's maybe keep you guys a little further back. Yeah, because of stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, Islamic swordsman around because of a clever placement of the mine. Now my Kizabashi can charge the mercenaries from the rear. Warriors charge the Marines, camels get in. Yeah, you guys are charging from the correct way. So you will be able to mow down of their gorillas. Engage the garrison guards. Fire it will back on. Small regiment of Grand Air Guards. Okay, now you guys get back out to here. Because those stakes are facing the right way. 
Oh, you guys broke. You didn't lose many men. Charge everyone on into the engineers. You men should come back. Foot guards are shattered. Because you're going to fall back. To be honest, I kind of want them to come at my gun position. That was a fun excursion. What I want them to get up to my hit went to hit my front line. That's what I want. Switch to round shot, engage the 23rd. Okay, if they don't want to come at us, then come back. I knew you'd come back. Cavalry go for the Marines. Camels take a position here. See, they did want to fight. Don't lie to me, Marie. Uh, engineers. Yeah, my Sipahi can smack those Grenadier Guards. Hold on, stakes, stakes, stakes. Go wide. We lose a few to stakes. Oh no, we didn't. We didn't lose a single one. So that's the column of reinforcements coming in, but they've mostly light infantry. This gun team can aim at the engineers too. and be recognised. Gunners blast the square. Chase down those Grenadier guards. So you men might advance up rapidly, cover the gap and get some good volley fire into the light infantry because they can start to engage us now it's another general unit okay now you guys actually you gotta be careful excellent so that's the main, the bulk of the main force dealt with. Make ready, where you're firing already. So my cavalry stay to the rear, the horizon. Blast the light foot cast shot. Okay, those guys are past the defences, so take them out. Unit switched around shot and engage. You're blowing the hell out of these engineers. Meanwhile, we're hacking up these engineers. How about you? They were not overly fussed about getting absolutely everybody. Okay, one of you guys can start to put fire into the engineers as well. Actually, no, be careful of spikes. Or mines behind spikes. Twenty-two engineers left. 
Gotta make sure they don't get too close to the enemy positions. See, light infantry, Swiss line, Hessian Jaeger. Foot guards are suddenly realizing, wait a minute, this is pretty terrible. So my general's bodyguard's starting to pick at them now. There they go. See if my Jaeger can get over. General's bodyguard can keep engaging, but I'm fairly sure the enemy general wins that engagement. Nine times out of ten. No, the, the Jaeger, sorry, win that engagement. So let's see if you guys can make it without getting hit by mines. Should be able to make it down this slope without running into the stakes. But will there be more mines? Oh, see, I auto attacked and he's veered towards this. It's like, no. is attempt well they're they're attempting to redeploy now is the time i think nope not you now's the time to advance advance and clear our way past these stakes and obstacles and so on Now you're behind their lines. Try go for that mercenary unit. We've got some artillery going off. That's our artillery. Let's try clear the way somewhat. All my artillery. Switch to round shot and shoot at range at this light dragoon. Maybe the general's bodyguard because they're in range. My armoured cavalry's doing a number on them. Let's keep our lines well covered when it comes to melee troops. Just try to break them. We don't want to... We're not necessarily trying to kill everyone. We just want them to break so then these guys can move back to threaten these chaps to them uh, ahead of us. Put as many as you can before having to break off the chase. Ideally shatter, but... Can't get it, we can't get it. Break off the attack. Yeah, Hessian Jaeger, Swiss line, all very good units. But the sheer weight of fire we're putting in now. My uh Tepahi don't look too well. Oh, they've been caught and chased down by the general's bodyguard, and then they're gonna die on the stakes. Cavalry back here. <laughs> beautiful. Not quite as beautiful as watching your infantry formations break and run. There's plenty more loyal Mysorians where they came from. However, can you say the same of your Dutchmen? We clear our way through your defensive positions. Okay, this cavalry. Fire it will on. Load your carbines. Aim. Fire. Follow it up with a charge. Artillery. Engage. Someone else. suddenly their general suddenly realized wait a minute maybe this was a terrible decision yes it was
keep pushing the line forward. My general's doing sterling work, clinking with his muskets at range. He is hitting the corners of some units. Okay. You guys should have good shots at the 22nd. You guys have good shots at 15th. You guys limber up. Make ready. Here comes more armoured cavalry. Send this armoured cavalry down this way. Yeah, that's it, Hessian Jaeger. You guys. <laughs> there we go. Send the cavalry on the grand and merry race towards the rear. You guys can try and skirmish the grenadiers. Actually, go for the light infantry. The furthest away from any defences. You men advance. Send some dervishes to deal with the light dragoons. Form up. So this Dakiel fire it will off to allow the dervishes past without killing them all. And fire it all back on. So you're gonna, you men are going to shuffle back in the formation. Follow up the grenadier, follow up the volley at the grenadiers with a musket, with a uh, cavalry charge. Cease fire the guns. Oh, you don't like that. Bash. Send in the camels. Militia conscripts. You're not going to get much of a look in. You may have broken my conscripts today, but tomorrow it will be your downfall. There we go, my camels have made it. They've, they're going to hack down the Grenadiers. You men go after that Swiss line infantry. And you men go after the conscripts so we don't lose too many unnecessary bodies. Hey, my cavalry came back. Get after those Hessian Jaeger. Script's taking an absolute hiding. Everyone else in the centre is just hacking away at this last unit of line infantry. Poor old 22nd. Bit of friendly fire there. <laughs> you guys lost a fella. going to continue but we're not it's not going to be some super decisive action well actually we're going to do a good amount of damage to them without needing to do without doing too much damage to our reinforcing armies actually they haven't had any damage done to them i don't think well, they 
most of those units are actually routing in... Oh, no, they're not. Actually, yeah, you're going after the conscripts. You men go after the 22nd, because they are... Exposed. Nice. It's all about those enemy defences. They're a bit awkward. Okay, all of you men against the 22nd. The last unit on the field, and it's the last unit that will be killed! Close victory. It wasn't a close victory. It was a good fight. It was a good fight. But nevertheless, a victory for the Kingdom of Mysore. And we did. We had to deploy a lot of men to do it. <laughs> they got 5,000. We killed nearly 5,000 of their men. The good old Hindu musketeers took the brunt and did the bulk of the killing. Excellent. Back you go, sir. So this force can replenish. They require reinforcement and they're going to get a cavalry unit. They've already got a unit of... Uh, oh no, the Sipahi unit's gone. Okay, give them a new Sipahi unit. Excellent. Yes, sir. And you men. Well, first of all, you push up into the zone. You men, push up and engage. Ruben Dagala. Let's bring the war to these United Provinces, devils. So yeah, for, so now, for example... There's three armies in that area. One's depleted. Now two will be depleted and a third will be in good shape. So I want the third to take position up front and bear the brunt of a counter-attack if it does come. So this is, we've, you know, we've, this is a this is an action fought in two phases, as it were. But once we get to Venice, I'd like to fortify Venice and hold it against whoever may come at us from the Balkans. Instead, focus on pushing west and north into Dutch territory. So this is going to be good old-fashioned attack. Cavalry on cavalry wide. Three infantry units behind the line. One infantry on each flank. General in the centre. Guns on fire at will off. Just for now. Just so I can run my men up first. Nice. They'd probably be better off higher up. That's not a good spot anyway. You can position if you like. We've got infantry, we've got pikemen right here waiting for you. Actually, my guns can engage. Well, oh, I could have engaged the reinforcements coming in, but never mind. I also want to try and push either flank. Goons, Islamic Swordsman, Sipahi. So that's that flank committed. Although they've suddenly realised, wait a minute. You men, you men get in for support. You men fold up the flank. There's cavalry coming, but that's okay. The skirmishers are getting to the Hussars. Hello. One army of reinforcements is coming in on the left flank. Charge on. Okay, I should really bump you guys into... In this much like to protect your formation, but for now, this camel unit is going to take on these reinforcements alone. Deployed into square. 
animals over here and the infantry and my, my armoured cavalry just going to leave their way through the Dutch. They broke my square, but then again it wasn't necessarily the sturdiest of squares as it was. Make sure we don't let their general get away. There go the Hussars, make sure they're captured, charge on into the Swiss line. That general's bodyguard might come in to help them, but they're not going to provide any help. They're blasting us with shrapnel shot, so let's get our offensive on the move. Keep forming your squares, my swordsmen help out. advance even closer than that. To be honest, I probably want you to charge the gunners and these formations to advance up next to the guns. Camels go after that unit of demi cannons, you men go after the horsemen. The Islamic swordsman unit can chase after the general's bodyguard. It's another general's bodyguard. Form up the cavalry because we have another cavalry charge coming in. We want to secure the gunners. Go get them. Infantry units push up. I mean, they see a melee fight here, but that's not going to really help them. Fusiliers can't like what's happening to them. Push up the hill. Flaming swordsmen chase after that general's bodyguard. I don't care if they're going to charge me in the rear. It's another general killed. General's bodyguard there, defeated. More reinforcements to the rear. I mean, at least Sipahi didn't want to... I wanted them to attack, but I guess they decided they weren't going to. Charge my Hindu musketeers into the back of the regiment of horse, just to make sure. Use my swordsman to try and speed this flank up a little bit more. The gunners were probably just fine where they were. Reform my cavalry. Oh, I missed all these melee troops back here. Okay, you men need to position better. All of you men, you've defeated the enemy over here. There we go, my gunners are opening up against their artillery. Probably want them to focus more on the infantry formations. Yeah, canister sh uh, shrapnel shot there. Ah, he breaks the militia. You, all of these guns focus on those 12 pounders. So they're going to break open our left flank. The cavalry can actually push up to the rear. Gunners stay quiet. Camels go for the 12s. You men also go for the 12s. So it looks like the camels are getting a bit jittery. Gunners blast 
the 40th Regiment of Foot. The cavalry's going to hit the artillery, then go straight into the 32nd. 37th, I should say. All of the gunners defeated. Infantry ceasefire at will. All of you men push up against the enemy here. All of you men. You'd everyone do the same thing. Our mounted troops are committed. Gunners cease fire. Just killing our own men now. Regiment of Militia should be going down quite handsomely. They've suddenly realised, actually, we have a lot of angry uh, gunners engage the Regiment of Militia to the rear. This Islamic Swordsman unit set them to charge. them down much less clever strategy in this action <laughs> so the camels keep going infantry go after the 40th you men go after the 40th Go get him. I mean, my, my infantry mob are going to take care of them, no worries. They routed over on the flank due to the gunfire. Yeah, we may as well continue. These men are going to die. <laughs> yep, there they go. You men have killed that last fella. Let's just use the cavalry to mow down this last unit of militia. Camels can try and get over here. But they're not going to make... Well, actually, if they run away from there, from the edge of the map, they may well make it. Charge. Yeah, they are going to make... Well, we are going to kill them, I mean. No, not close again. I wouldn't say it was close. It was a good fight. Yeah, we lost a few more men that turn, but my god. That's really chewed away some of their strength. So this force that's got the strongest army goes up front. Excellent, we can repair the mine. You're replenishing, you're replenishing, you're replenishing, and you are going to be recruiting a stack of infantry to garrison Rome to allow you to advance forward. But that's gone quite well. And then we're probably going to just auto that fight. <laughs> Tripoli is ours. Let's repair the sublime poor D. Replenish the army. Good. Ooh, hello. Do you want to use my agent to try to kill their agent? Because they're probably just going to keep trying to kill my guy. Yay! Let's try to get some visibility on what's going on in the desert. No point in repairing cert. Actually, you can garrison it. Then it'd be worth repairing. Make ready. So they've got a bones of a good navy here. Excellent. Let's take a first rich ship of the line, make an admiral. Gopal Alu. Because, and this is important because we got a Dutch navy over here. 
with heavy first and two seconds, which I want. Again, overwhelming force. Cannot take any losses. <laughs> well, just keep on decking. Yeah, heavy first rate, two second rate, and a bunch of chaff. This is how I like to fight naval battles. I like to uh, develop an economy that my navy is so powerful that my own in individual incompetence is uh, compensated for somewhat. <laughs> So I know by putting my ships in this formation, it kind of it reduces my line's ability to kind of respond to a dynamic situation because the lead elements are so slow. But why I like it is because I can then, if something goes wrong, I can quite quickly deal with it with my faster ships towards the back of the line. But yeah, so this is their heavy first-rate ship of the line. It's in perfect condition. To be honest, their whole fleet's in good shape. So, not worried about these small ships. It's these big fellas. They're who we want to close distance with. And I will be trying to take out masts. <laughs> I just will. That's that's going to happen. I got my first up front, I got my Admiral third in the line, which usually, I'm not usually super happy about because it's a bit vulnerable. There's not a lot you can do. At some point they will change their bearing and then we'll be having a proper slugfest right now. Yeah, there we go. De Seven Provincien, which is their current class of Dutch frigate I think uh, <laughs> yeah they they aren't going to be fighting in a disadvantaged position for too long they will at some point turn so they can also get advantage from the weather gauge because that makes sense at the very least we may get the first shots whatever gain that realistically provides because uh guys long range shots generally just aren't super useful there we go we've started yeah so my guys lost two crew their heavy first rates not lost anything but yeah the name of the game is we've got a lot more firepower in our third rates and stuff to the towards the end of the at the back of the fleet than they have, but we want to keep closing the distance. They don't let us. We want to keep closing. I'm probably going to want them just to fire at will. Until things close up. Hassan Omar's taking some hits. Okay, let's speed this up. The feeling we're gonna get just, it's just gonna get some just gonna be a bit painful at the start, because our first straight ship of the line is just gonna be trading blows with a heavy first straight ship of the line. But yeah, as an example of why kind of cock an eyebrow at the the balance somewhat of this game is they've got two ships slugging it out my ship is in a lot worse state than theirs are and granted theirs is a heavy first rate ship of the line my guy is still a first rate ship of the line they're going to focus on trying to knock out masts now so i think this ship's going to be done for good hits on the mast but it's going to take a few few more shots. You're okay firing round shot at will, although you two are getting starting to get damaged. But what I want is for them to start to 
try and get ahead of my formation, although I suppose you should really start. Start loading a round shot, although probably a bit too late. Let's take a section of my fleet to try and cut them off for the rear. No, it's, it's still very tempting to fire chain shot, even though it's probably not the right call. Then again, this ship's probably going to die, so... Do I fire a broadside hoping to knock out a mast? Because a mast pro would, produ would produce a longer term gain than round shot alone. bomb catches on the way in. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my first rate here is they're going to join Davy Jones, but I'd like the fact that they're heavy privateer to the... Yeah, look at that. Just straight in. This first squadron keep going in. So these ships are my some of my third rates who ought to be putting the hammer down you are on fire so cease fire you are going to have to try and oh, I'm just going to have to just lamb shots into her deck in the broadside way of combat. You're on fire, so fire it will off. That's how you deal with fires. Generally you say that your crew can't. Your crew can't do everything. Keep loading and firing, even though it's now your weakest side because of all the pummeling. Like, look, even I suppose they are putting out, they're dealing with the firepower of more ships. Let's try and part of the way we can try and win is to knacker or hobble the heavy first rate. Try cut across their stern. Fire your last three guns because you're probably going to surrender. You're routing because you're on fire. Okay, we've taken out her first mast. Main mast. You're going to waste your broadside on. I mean, look, these are my first rate ships of the line and they're just done for. You're going to blast that little bomb catch with round shot. If you're going to... Oh, you're not on fire. Well, are you? Blast the bomb catch. Catch them at the stern. You keep firing chain. You're going to go down, but keep firing. problem is all my third rates seem to think that they all have to sail it not at full mass. And it's like, no, you're fast ships. Pick up the pace. So you want chain shot. you to hit Ridderschlapp van Holland in the stern with chain you've got good hits on her mast 
potential to get good hits on her mask from back here. So your job is just to do as much damage as you can to that heavy first rate rigging. Firing at will. Long range. Starting to pivot. We lost the first ship. Surrendered. Keep putting shots into Van Holland. You're going to have to fire a round shot if you want to get involved. Fire at will, maybe? Engaging her stern. Don't really care about this little bomb catch. Smacking shots into her stern. She will not like that. I'd like you to actually close the distance. Close the distance and start to pick at the back of their fleet ships. Some of these ships get ready to form the line. It looks like they're trying to turn towards their. They're going to try and turn to the left. Sail at full mast. There we go. The heavy ships back in the action. So you, you, you just need to push up close. I don't want to push these guys up their other flank. Whoop, up the other flank to keep engaging their weaker ships and threaten this ship's stern. Well, you, get, you do just need to turn and start shooting because... You guys get over here right now. Another volume chain. Four mast is gone. So you're going to pitch up and engage at range. It's another mast gone on the heavy privateer. You're going to want to pivot to try and do some damage to this fellow, but you're going to just drop anchor and open up. New ships push on ahead of their fleet. Yeah, that second rate's going to take going to take some hammering. You're going to fire chain just to destroy fellow's masts. Just a little bit more. There we go. And start churning in broadside fire. She's got no mast at all now, so lay, lay across her stern. I'm going to try and sail head on into my fleet, which is perfect actually. You need to move. The second rate ship has abandoned the first rate.
so you need to keep pouring well actually yeah you you need to keep firing but ultimately we've got a ship here firing into her stern see if you can knock out one of her foremasts just a little bit more So ideally, once we've knocked out this ship, what I'd like to do is bring you along to fire into the back of the into the rear of that ship there. There's another mast. So this heavy privateer is taking a lot of the shots designed <laughs> destined for this heavy. First rate, you're going to close distance. You're going to see if you can. No, you're not going to, be able to do anything. You're going to have to fire into the stern of this heavy privateer. Chain shot as well. Seventy-eight crew, two hundred and thirty-eight crew. Deal with her. Sail on ahead. Chain shot locked and loaded. So I managed to jump out of combat. There we go. Just sail ahead into the rear of this heavy first rate. Just stay there. Just keep engaging. down just fire you're gonna have to switch to round shot and just begin opening up okay I don't want to stay you gotta be careful because this ship is still dangerous from the still dangerous she's still dangerous Broadside ready. Fire broadside reload. You can get ahead of her. She's, she's a she's a slippery devil. Keep sailing ahead. She's trying to turn, so make sure we keep turning ahead of her. Just fire whatever guns you've got. These ships are going to bump into each other. They're going to ram, ramming speed. speed get ahead of her you full speed get behind her she is a dangerous vessel get ahead of her. Just 
much. Keep hammering her. She won't be able to put up a fight. Oh, she won't be able to put up a fight forever. It's getting a bit chaotic over there. Fire you chain shot because you are head on. It's another mass down. Just hammer her. Dude, we are not going to accidentally had boarding on. Oh, no, nope, I'm not going to board you. No, sir. Fortunately, we're far enough away. That's not going to do a huge amount of damage. You sail on ahead. Get ready to engage the second rate ship of the line that's still stuck there. You guys just hunker down. Engage these two ships that are currently unmastered. Sorry, just to get it to fire. God, concerned. Concerned slightly because they're dismasted. So you ought to be deeply concerned. Finally. And you position at the head of the second ray. You sail ahead of those ships. Could you just keep pouring shots into Prince Friso? There, Rose. Yeah, those first heavy <laughs> first raids, man, they take a panel in. You end up needing to hobble them like this just to prevent them from doing anything, but even then, you know, the firing arcs are significant. Shaking your fire. You man engage the heavy privateer. think that that ship is storming in at such speed because it's like quick I must render aid I don't think she is yeah, she's routing but just keep hitting hitting her keep hitting until she surrenders Both of these ships have orders to hit Starenberg. You can you trying to hit Deutsche von Leiden? Yep, even even though she's completely dismasted on fire and routing, she still won't surrender. She may well explode. Stay mobile. You've not got many guns on your left side. Did you board her. Surrendered on fire, so... Ships that are seeking to 
uh, avoid her. Do not sail nearby, because she may blow. Chain shot into the mast of the heavy privateer. Down goes her main mast. Immediately, you feel wavering, routing. third ray ship of the lines going down she will try to be of useful service to the kingdom surrendered excellent so let's just speed up time got a third ray and we've got a second ray chasing down one the rosé So what you can do is when she gets alongside to try and board she's cut her off then she's going to pull a handbrake turn to, and then you get to this position and you're like oh that's pretty good so if you stop boarding oh, my guys are fired but either way I believe my third rate ship of the line with 217 crew versus Stannenberg the Rosé your 121 crew. So it's going to be grappling hooks away to prevent the ships from drifting apart. There we go. Lines across. Pull them in. Excellent. So, <laughs> Makasira Lee is coming in. Okay, the ship is on fire. Looks like she's blown up and sank. Pull up alongside. Although that might be a bit much. Sail straight, straight past. My, my fellows will jump across and board. Boarding ramps put in. Boarding planks. Lines made fast. Sierra Lee is going to put shots into Starenberg. Musketry, trying to do some damage. Spill the wind from your sails. Drop anchor. Are these guys going to climb across anytime soon? Because they're. <laughs> okay, I think it's bugged. Because they're not actually fighting. She surrendered, but no one actually boarded her. Hmm, that's a bit screwed up. Close victory, yeah, it was. <laughs> Heavy first, man. Heavy first are dangerous. Heavy privateer, no. Well, first of all, usually it's better to pick them all, and then go, no, 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 yes, yes, no, no. Our admiral was lost. However, the Dutch frigate will become a new flagship. Albert van Kuyden, former Dutchman in service with the Mysore Kingdom. Make for Antalya for repairs. Excellent. 35,000. Lots of traits gained there. Conference generals. Triple E was secured, we know that. Let's upgrade the road. Heroic death. <laughs> My new general who's only just got into action. 
Um, okay. So you're one turn. Okay, you're building a bunch of ships anyway. Let's hop down to India. You're waiting on bits and pieces, as are you. As are you. We've got 32,000. Don't want to really not be doing things with that. So. Let's start the recruitment of another force. Although it's not going to be as varied or as interesting. Because we lack a lot of interesting types you get from India. But it's something. Too good for armies. Send some of these. Ooh, hold on, no. Send some of these Rosé out. No, Jebek, sorry. Out raiding the Dutch harbours. We're at war with the Barbary State, so I'm not going to do anything here. But we can at least blockade both their ports on the Mediterranean. Ooh, where's that? That's an upgrade. Central Italy? No, because that would be raided immediately. There's no point. Uh, how's Italy doing? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Apologies for that. I uh, think you've done pretty much everything we want to do. So we're getting power loom next turn, so I'm going to save this money for next turn, really. Um, but rather than do that now, I'm going to hit end the episode here, because look at the time we've overrun a lot. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the startlingly efficient, uh, st uh, startlingly efficient um, story of the Kingdom of Mysore. Cheers, everyone.